Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC, bringing you more. Link's Awakening! So in the last video, we completed the quest for Dick, which led us here to the next dungeon in the game, level 3, the Key Cavern. Excellent, let's go ahead and continue onwards then. Now there's actually nothing we can do over here to the right for the time, but if you remember what we had to do in Richard's Castle when we had a closed door like that, all we have to do is get out our power bracelet, pick up one of these pots, and throw it at the door. Alright, now we want to be a little bit careful of the red bombs in this room, because the instant we hit them with our sword, they'll go careening around the uh, area until they either hit something or after a short period of time. And if they manage to hit you, they'll cause a full heart of damage. But as you saw, you can actually knock them into each other and kill other enemies in the room, so that's kind of nice. Alright, and for defeating them, check it out. We got ourselves a small key. That's going to be the first of many in this area. This is the key cavern, after all. There we go. Go ahead and take care of those slimes real quick. And yeah, we actually got a slime in that chest as well. What a dick move. All right, let's go ahead and kill these Stalfos here. There we go. Now, there is a chest that will spawn here, but we need to be able to kill that slime on the left side of the room first, which we actually can't do for a little while. But do remember the chest that's here, because there's a pretty sweet item in there. All right. Shit. <laughs> I was trying to get a spin attack off on those guys. Ah, well. Let's go ahead and head down this staircase now. And instead we get down here, go ahead and charge up a spin. That way you can take care of those uh, slimes that spawn around you. Now, the way that we want to tackle this area is we want to start at the top here, and then we'll just work our way counterclockwise around the room. Okay. Got two Skelebros in here to take care of. There we go. We got ourselves a key for doing so. Now what we want to do is we want to hit that orb, and then we want to head back up this staircase here. Right, there we go. And yeah, for doing that, check it out, we got ourselves the Stone Beak of the Dungeon. Now we can actually go back to that room and see what that owl statue has to say. But before we do that, now that I hit that orb, I can actually access a room back here. Alright, gotta take care of the slimes in here again. There we go. Yeah, now we'll head over here to the right, take care of those keys real quick, and then BOOM! Fuck you, Stalfos! And yeah, check it out! We got ourselves the map of the dungeon! Alright, let's go ahead and get a, give it a quick look. Yeah, it's quite a big dungeon, too. And it's shaped like two keys, too, so that's kind of cute. Alright, so now that we have that, we're gonna head back up here to the staircase, and we'll move on to the next door. There we go. I'm actually going to pick up this Guardian Acorn, because once we go through the room here to our left, we're going to encounter one of the more annoying enemies in this dungeon. Yeah, it's those guys there, Parods. Once you get close to them, they'll teleport to the opposite end of the room, and then they'll fire a projectile at you. And they'll actually cause a full heart of damage if it manages to hit you. So what you want to do is just get close to them, so they teleport away, and then you just want to make your way to the opposite end of the room so you can hit them before they fire out that projectile. There we go. Alright, just jump towards him. Oh, look at that, I managed to tag him twice there, that was awesome. Alright, we'll go ahead and pick up that key before it falls down that pit. If it does fall down that pit, you just have to re-enter this room, but you might have to uh, kill enemies again, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, just make sure you grab it as fast as you can. Alright, so now we'll just head down here. We only got one pair odd to deal with in here, so that's kind of nice. Oh, you fucking Stalfos. Managed to hit me with an arrow. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and kill everything else in here. And then we'll take care of this pair odd. Yeah, once you get their pattern down, it's kind of, uh... It's really easy to figure out where they're going to teleport to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got ourselves a key there. Now, that one of the more important things about this room is if we get out our bracelet, yeah, we can get bombs underneath these pots. They'll always spawn there as well uh, when you first enter the dungeon, so do remember that. Bombs are kind of a premium item in this dungeon. We are going to be using quite a lot of them. Alright. Now, we want to make our way around this room because we got some slimes that will pop up. There we go pick up those rupees. Definitely gonna need them. Alright, there we go. And yeah, for defeating them, we get another key. 
Okay, so now let's kill these Stealthos. There we go. And I actually want to go ahead and pick up the pot over here in the corner, because there's another bomb that will spawn there. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of these slimes real quick. There we are. And I actually want to get out my bombs now, because once we head up this way, ah, we got our mini-boss of the dungeon. Now this guy, we actually need to set bombs in his mouth, and it can be kind of annoying to do so. So I kind of recommend just getting, like, right up in their grill, and then just setting a bomb. And you actually can reset the timer by picking up the bomb. That way you don't end up, uh, using up a shitload of bombs in here. Because, yeah, these guys fucking suck. It seems like they always know exactly when you're setting down a bomb. Come on, pick up the fucking bomb. Like, sometimes it can get really difficult to line them up right. It's like the instant you set down a bomb, they go the opposite direction. And the good thing is, once you take them out, they will drop a fairy. So, yeah, I kind of just recommend face-taking any damage. That way you can just get right up in their grill and set a bomb in their mouth. But, yeah, for defeating them, now we got a shortcut back to the start of the dungeon. Very nice. But more importantly, once we head over this way... Ah, look at that, we got the item of the dungeon, the Pegasus Boots. If you hold down the button, you can dash. Yeah, excellent. So yeah, let's go ahead and get those out. And if we hold down the button that we have it assigned to, we can do a dash attack. And if we have our sword in the other slot, uh, he, Link will put his sword out in front of him like that as well. So that's kind of nice. Now there is an uh, other nice thing about these boots, is when we come across these pair odds, check this out. Oh, shit. Oh, well, now they're both lined up, so watch this. Yeah, look at that. We can actually dash at them and kill them before they have a chance of teleporting away. Alright, now we'll just head up this one-way path here. There we go. Yeah, the cool thing about the Pegasus Boots uh, dash attack as well is it does cause a little more damage than your standard uh, sword swipe. You saw I was able to take care of that slime there before he split. Alright, get the hell away from me. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you can get those bombs caught in an infinite loop, and they won't explode. And that kind of sucks, because it seems like the only way I, I found out of it is by getting myself hit. Oh, come on, just fucking explode already. There we go. It's like, I don't want to take too much goddamn damage here. Alright, so now I actually want to get out the power bracelet and the rock's feather. Now we can grab those bombs there. That's really important to grab, because there's actually ten in that, uh... Uh, pickup, so that's kind of nice. Okay, let's get out the Pegasus boots again. Uh, what do you have to say? To defeat the black monster with the hard shell, feed him something explosive. Yeah, too late on that one. We already took care of that. Now, we don't need to head over here to the right, but I do want to come over here just to show you this. You can see we got a crack there in the right side of the wall. If we head over here to the right, ah, you can see there's no crack there. So do remember that for later on. We'll have to set a bomb there against that wall in order to access that room. Alright, now we can pick up this chest. It's got 50 rupees in it. Very nice. Alright, now we'll just head back down this way, take care of these slimes. I guess I picked up a piece of power there, whatever. <laughs> okay, so now I actually want to jump into this teleporter. Alright, we'll take it back to the starting area. So the instant we head over here to the right, we want to be uh, on this block right here. So the instant we head over here, use your dash, that way you can take care of that enemy. He's just like that vacuum that we came across in, I think it was the first dungeon? First or second dungeon. But instead of uh, pulling you towards him, he'll actually push you away. So yeah, we need to use our boots there in order to take him out before he starts doing that shit. Alright, and for killing him, we can get ourselves a small key there. Very nice. Okay, before we jump back in that teleporter, now that I have the Pegasus Boots, we want to head up this way, and we'll head over to the left now. Alright, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> Alright, get out the Pegasus Boots now. And yeah, we can kill that this slime here. And now we just want to make our way back around to that room with the Stalfos in them. Alright. Come on, hit that Stalfos. Yeah, there we go. Okay, might as well just kill these guys. 
Alright, let's go ahead and kill these Stealthos now. One thing I've noticed about these guys, they have a high uh, drop rate for hearts, so that's kind of nice. Alright, and for defeating them, check it out, 200 rupees. That is really damn good. That'll get us up to the amount we need for the bow a lot quicker. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and hop back into this teleporter. Alright, there we go. And we'll head over here to the right, that way I can pick up those hearts. It's like I'm only down one heart, but a lot of things in this uh, area cause one heart of damage, so... He can die really damn quick in here, as I found out the first time I came through here. Alright, then we'll just head back up to reset that block. Alright, there we go. Kill those guys. Let's see what this owl statue has to say. Poke suspicious parts of the wall with your sword, and listen to the sound it makes. Yeah, if it isn't fucking obvious, we got an arrow here pointing at this uh, part of the wall. So we do want to bomb there, but not quite yet. We want to head up here first off. Alright, we got two slimes to take care of, as well as these green bombs. Now these green bombs, the instant you hit them with your sword, they'll start uh, following you around, and they'll count down a timer there uh, for three seconds. So you just want to make sure you just swipe them away. They're pretty easy to deal with once you figure that out. Alright. And hey, check it out, we got ourselves the compass. Now that it's almost completely useless. Yeah, blah, 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 I've seen this message about a thousand times already. You don't have to tell me every time. And yeah, I remember earlier, we saw that there was a crack on the other side of this wall. Right there. So we'll just set down a bomb. There we go. We can get back here now. Yeah, there we go. That's the chain reaction I want to see. Okay, we got ourselves another key. Okay. Unfortunately, these guys respawn again. So let's just go ahead and get them activated. Get them all gathered together like that. Yeah, and since I have the piece of power, it makes it a little bit easier to swipe them away. Alright, so now let's set a bomb there. And access down this way. And we'll set a bomb there as well, since we will be needing that. <laughs> Managed to kill that Stalfos. That was awesome. Unintended benefit. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to get our boots and the rocks feather. And we can use them both together just like that to jump big gaps. So that's kind of nice. That's actually what that other owl statue would say if I went back and talked to him, but I completely forgot about that. Alright, for coming over here, we get the nightmare key. So now we can actually take on the boss of this area. Oh, shit! <laughs> the, oh, well, I didn't know I could do that. Well, that works. Yeah, sometimes the interaction between these two items is a little weird, like the timing is off. But that could just be me, too. Alright, we can pick up some hearts underneath those pots there, which is kind of nice. Okay. We'll just get back out the Pegasus boots. I'm not going to worry about killing these guys. So now that we have an ass load of keys, we can actually take this pathway here. Alright, there we go. Yeah, to get rid of this guy, all we have to do is just dash at him. There we go. Now this jump, I fucking hate this jump. I always seem to fuck it up. Let's see if I can manage to get it. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost had it there. <laughs> Usually I end up, like, hitting the arrow key or something, and I end up falling right into the spike pit and taking a shitload of damage. But I managed to make it there, and it threw me off. That's hilarious. Alright, we got more parods in here. Let's see, when we get close to this guy, because he'll teleport over that way, we can take care of these two in one shot. There we go. And then we can kill you! Excellent! Alright, so go ahead and get out our feather. Now we can refill our health there. And then we'll get back out the Pegasus boots. Alright, we actually got a key in this room. The interesting thing about this dungeon is there is a spare key in it for some reason. And it won't do you any good to collect it, but since I'm trying to show off everything, might as well. Alright, there we go. Ooh, give me that piece of power. So like, yeah, we're about to head into the boss uh, fight here, so that'll be rather helpful. Alright, what do we got? 
Neener, neener, you can't find me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, what if I do this? Yeah, if you run against the wall, we can expose the boss of this dungeon. Alright, once he's almost split apart completely like that, you just want to dash at that separation. That way you can split him into two pieces. Now we can actually cause damage to him. Since I have the piece of power... Ooh, yeah, he's gonna go down in two shots. Alright, yeah, just jump up uh, once he's about to slam onto the ground. That way he doesn't stun you. And just like that, we have won! And check it out! You've got the Sea Lily's Bell! Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. Alright, and there we go. We have taken out level 3, the Key Cavern. Badass. So what else is going to await us on our journey? Well, we're going to have to find out in the next video, so stay tuned for more Link's Awakening.